just to give you an example, this unit that we're demoing here, we've had in operation since 2009, and we use it sort of two, three times a week for demos. And uh, I would hope that an engineering company wouldn't have to use it that often. Do you know how versatile a portable tap remover actually is? Well, Andrew, before we get into the nitty gritty on this machine, can you talk me through what this machine is and what it's actually used for? Yeah, this is our portable EDM unit. This is, as, as the name uh, shows, it is a broken tap remover, but it can also be used for broken bolts, broken drills, uh, broken studs, basically anything that's conductive that you need help getting out, this unit's what you need. Now, obviously, people have seen videos on this machine before. We all sort of know what it does, but what are some of the unconventional things you can do with this machine? Yeah, as we've shown in, in, in the past, we've always shown it as sort of a uh, sparking vertically, uh, the ideal situation, you can submerge the part, you have good flushing, but as we all know, that's not the common, how, how it comes in. Often you're taking this unit to a machine to help you remove a part, you know, you don't want to break it down or whatever it may be. And we just want to showcase the flexibility of the unit in how it can support you with that setup. Now, obviously people will be looking at this and saying, well, at the moment you've seen it at 30 degrees or you've got a hundred mil stroke, but what happens if I need more? It's as flexible as you need it to be. As you said, it's got 100 mil stroke, but if you've got a very deep cavity with a, a, something broken at the bottom, all you need to do is just use a longer electrode and you can get down there. So there's no limitation in that respect. You see that there's 30 degrees uh, tilt on the head, but actually this unit could be lying horizontally. It could be upside down if you can cover up the, uh, the motors. It's really down to how flexible you can be with the unit. On here, we've actually got it set up at the minute. So it's not just using a round stock brass electrode. This is actually using a hex so that when we spark into it, we can actually put an Allen key in and try and remove that to, again, and initially, especially for big bolts, uh, sometimes it's better to put a form in there to try and get it out conventionally rather than trying to uh, erode the entire bolt away. Now, you actually have some unconventional electrodes. So can you just talk us through what you've got and what you actually use them for to help the customer in need? Certainly, so uh, as I spoke to you before, uh, this, this unit itself goes up to a six mil chuck, uh, but it can go larger than that, especially for like bigger taps and things like that. You're trying to burn that core away. So uh, this is an example where somebody's turned down the end of an electrode here to six mil and also extended it so you could get right, really deep into a cavity. Um, another example is uh, there was a customer that had a really tight, uh, a really tight access into where they'd broken off a broken tap. Uh, so we made this dog-legged electrode, and again, this the unit was lying on its side, and this was sparking in to remove that bolt, something that they had no other way of getting out. Uh, and it was done within sort of 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, spoke to you previously about the, the hex, so you can spark a form in. So whatever the form is of the electrode, that will go into your workpiece. Uh, so especially for really large bolts and taps and drills, we suggest you first thing you do is, if it's really big, try and put hex in it, try and lever it out. If that then rounds off, Next thing to do is then do the conventionally, try and either split it with a blade uh, straight down the middle or to, uh, to fully erode it. Now, one of the beautiful things about this unit is we also offer that support. So if you, if you were in a bind and you had one of these, you could ring us up, we'll, we can support you through what's the best setup, methods that we've seen in the past and uh, give you that support over the telephone. That's free for the lifetime of the unit. Now, obviously we've talked about what you can do with this unit, but what about getting it up and running. What about programming it? Getting it running. How easy is that for, for a first time user? Really simple to use. You literally, the programming point of it, it says on the top of the unit, by what size electrode, uh, what power step setting it should be on. It comes with brass electrodes in the kit. As long as you've got a flow of water over the area that you're using, and that's just tap water that you use. You set, press one button, hit go, set how far you want it to cut, and uh, it will spark away happily. We also have lots of videos online showing different applications that we've used it for, and you get a user manual with it. Well, also, what's the longevity on a machine like this? Well, with any new machine that we sell, we offer a full 12 months back to base warranty that we fully support these units. But just to give you an example, this unit that we're demoing here, we've had in operation since 2009, and we use it sort of two, three times a week for demos. And uh, I would hope that an engineering company wouldn't have to use it that often. <laughs>